So, remember my Pioneer review where I said I had an internal argument about which Victorinox knife to get? Turns out I decided I wanted both of them anyway. So, the Victorinox Tinker. It probably won't be my last Victorinox either. The main knife blade is slightly smaller than the Pioneer's blade in every dimension, meaning it's shorter, the blade is less wide, and the blade stock is less thick. It is of course made with Victorinox's stainless steel that sharpens up really nice but doesn't really keep an edge forever, although in my experience it isn't an issue. There's even a smaller secondary blade in case you dull the main one. The smaller secondary blade is similar in shape to the main blade but a lot smaller. It's under 2 inches long. Most people who are into knives with two blades will use one and keep one super sharp so they will always have a sharp blade. I always use the main blade to keep the small one sharp but some people will do the opposite. Some size comparisons. The Victorinox Pioneer, the Case Sodbuster Junior, the Kershaw Pub, the Case Trapper, and a Ziploc bag full of bottle caps. The can opener is the same as the Pioneer, so I assume it would work the same. The little flathead on the end could be used in Phillips head screws, as well as smaller flathead screws. The bottle opener seems like it might be a little smaller than the Pioneer's bottle opener. Other than that, it's the same bottle opener, flathead screwdriver, and wire notch stripper thing tool as a half stop to use that notch and blade to strip wires. The Phillips head is a larger Phillips screwdriver. It works just fine. Great for a little pocket tool. The Phillips head is the reason I bought the Tinker. I have no need for a corkscrew as I am not a wine tasting enthusiast. On the back side there's an awl with a sewing hole, which I think I prefer over the reamer. You can use it to sew things together, but can also be used to drill holes and stuff. I tried sewing together two pieces of thick leather. It was difficult to get through the leather. However, I think this tool would be handy for fixing holes and stuff in thinner materials. The toothpick is a nifty thing to have, especially when your teeth are as bad as mine. It works like any other toothpick and is stored inside the handle scales. The tweezers are a good thing to always have, although they're not perfect. I personally prefer the tweezers that came with my Rake L11, but these will work better than those shitty plastic ones included in your first aid kits at work. So I bought this Victorinox Tinker for $25 at Cabela's. I have used pretty much all the tools and they all work well. I definitely like having the Phillips screwdriver. This knife doesn't feel quite as rugged as my Victorinox Pioneer, but those bright red plastic handle scales are recognized by everyone as a Swiss Army knife. So, normally you're not going to scare anyone when you pull this out of your pocket to cut something or use one of the tools. It's 100% legal to carry most places, even some of the more dystopian ones. Not the city of Philadelphia, though. I like carrying this knife for its usefulness, 
and the fact that it doesn't put PTA moms into cardiac arrest. You know those first few times you talk to this romantic interest you have and they ask you what your hobbies are and you feel that urge to bring up the fact that you own like 30 plus pocket knives? Maybe wait until the second or third date to bring up the fact that you've spent hundreds of dollars on folding knives.